If you take a look back through the uh, playlist for the re re rebuilding of this lathe, you'll find in an earlier episode I've got the headstock casting upside down on the bench and I'm rebuilding the feed reverse mechanism underneath, which incorporates a single tooth uh, dog clutch drive. Have a look at that and then you'll understand how the drive is transferred from the spindle down through that drive, through a separate gear and then into the back of this gearbox. And it's actuated via that handle down there. Not an uncommon setup. Um, maybe the dog clutch is different, but that actuator type of system moving backwards and forwards on the, on the apron allows you to engage, disengage and go forwards or reverse. Um, when I was rebuilding this section, which is on another video, which I've got to put up, what I found was uh, I couldn't get the drive to consistently engage or disengage um, only in one direction, and that was when the handle was pushed down. Um, having messed about with it a fair bit, I determined that actually there was a problem in inside of that, and I'll cover that now. So this selector lever is used for putting it into forward and reverse, but that's that's the slack. There's a little uh, key on it that sits in this keyway and it should oh, I think it should be a hell of a lot tighter fit than that annoyingly to get at it I've got to take the friggin end off the um, end off the lathe to slide it out so all that bracket has to come off again anyway fortunately the clown who fitted the brackets managed to put them in with um, dowels which you've got threaded holes on the back so I can pull them back out again. So this is the handle after it's been repaired and you're looking at the free play before anything actually engages yeah so I'm not moving the shaft that is basically the, the play between the keyway and the key that runs inside of it and then you've got the play between basically the free play in the clutch moving that dog slider backwards and forwards before it engages. Hopefully that's a bit of an explanation, you can understand what I'm doing on the next section. assemblies to adjust for the um, thrust wear
you that stops us. So we're off the rack. Oh, well, I've got the uh, carriage to slide off the end of the, uh, the bed. Um, there's a hardened race which the end of the lead screw fits in and it's a good snug fit in that. Sliding but a good snug fit and you can see the witness, the witness marks. Anyway, that's, that's Alf. Slid the bed off, got the sh end of the shaft free, slide that along, plunk. Bloody keyway doesn't go all the way to the end, does it? So the only way that thing's coming off is that way, which means you could pull all that lot back together. Um, but while we're here, that's where the key's fitted. So I'm gonna now try undo those and see if I can somehow get that key out and then refit it, or an alternative plan. There shouldn't be that much wear in it. Yeah. So I'm taking out the two grub screws and because this thing's been cut with a um, uh, horizontal mill, the end of the key way is sloping up. So I'm just using it as a bit of a slide. There we go. Right, so we'll have that on the bench and make a new one. And then it'll have to be slid on and then fitted at this end. Oh joy. Right, bring you back. Try and get a decent shot of that, but it's a... Uh, I can't believe that's all wear. It just seems uh, excessive. It just seems um, a little bit too even for it to be wear. You know what I mean? And there's no associate wear on the, uh, on the thing, but I don't know. We decided we're going to remake this key. Uh, there's been a couple of options I've considered. One was building it up with the weld and then filing it back. But uh, I figured by the time I do that, I might as well just make a new one. The only problem I've got is I can't see, I can't think of a way to be able to tap those and pick up on the existing tappings, which are blind. Um, so, what I'll probably do is make a new key and then just a single grub screw in one corner. Uh, there's another couple of features I'll add. Uh, which I think will be an improvement. Um, so, a uh, piece of steel stock. I've just nibbled the edge down, uh, reduced some of the handwork. It's still oversized, so I can file it to fit. Make the lozenger shape. And I'll, the reason I've left it on the block is just for handling and gripping purposes. So once I've got it, actually, so it'll slot in and out, and I can look at truncating it. So it's a nice little uh, hand fitting job. There's my vice, there's my files, off we go.
and that's it fitted so just got to truncate it round it off and then work out how I'm going to key it in and then work out a means by which I can extract it Let's just deburn it. I've got to dress the end into the hole first. So what I'm going to do is slide it on back onto the uh, ca <coughs> carriage uh, rod, let's call it. There must be a name for it. Put the key in, tap the key home and make sure it still slides, it's not bottoming out. Because there's wear on the other key, it's not easy to determine exactly uh, how long it's got to be. I also need a, a way of being able to take it in and out, that's my next job. So I've rebuilt the end of the... Uh screw feed screws and lead screws and all the rest of it that's the part fitted and you can see the key I've basically put it into position I've used a toolmaker's clamp just to press the key home made sure it slides left and right and the only reason it, if there's any stickiness now is all the little tiny dings so I'm in the process of polishing them out I've threaded the center of it with a small thread. So I've actually used a metric one, it's all I've got handy, uh, an M4, so that if I ever need to take it out and pour a new one in because it wears, I can put the screw down and keep winding it down and it will jack itself out up against the bottom of the groove, which then means I can actually do this job without having to take all that lot off the end. So that's now set up, I can slide into that fit the handle on and we're good to go uh, all I'm going to do now is just go along I thought I'd already done it once and I can see where I've polished it but the fit is really snug there's a tiny little ding just under here and that's all it seems to take just to just to cause a bit of stickiness we want it nice and smooth um, there is play uh, still to a degree because the slot has worn um, Few, yeah, you know, a couple of thousand, ten, maybe ten overall. Probably not that much, but uh, it's a lot, lot better than it was.